State and local health agencies across the country are engaged in a number of influenza preparedness and educational exercises, which are designed to evaluate influenza community mitigation strategies. One important mitigation strategy is school closure. We do not fully understand how pandemic flu might impact school systems and how closing schools could impact other parts of the state and the economy. We conducted a series of pandemic influenza tabletop exercises across the state of Arizona in September and October of 2009. And the objective of these exercises was to really bring a diverse group of stakeholders together uh, and help coordinate emergency response plans. Our approach to these exercises is to create a hybrid of a traditional tabletop exercise uh, with a simulation game. And this allows us to turn the exercise into something that's more real and much more interactive. A tabletop exercise is a group discussion guided by a simulated disaster. Emphasis is placed on a low stress yet thorough group problem solving process. The exercises that we run here at the Decision Theater have some distinctions and differences from traditional tabletop exercises. In addition to modeling and simulation, we also use a variety of other media to try to reflect to individuals who are participating in our exercises how they would see the events that are occurring that would occur in the real world. Participants are given data through mock news feeds, uh, GIS maps, data index and PowerPoint slides, and then following the end of the scenario, uh, the participants are given a set of discussion questions and asked to discuss as a group. Uh, and then at certain points, they are asked to make critical decisions about school closure, whether or not they should close schools, uh, and if so, how long they should keep the schools closed. And these decisions then feed back into the simulation model and impact uh, the outcome of the exercise. I want to share with you some of the features of the simulation that participants here would see while participating in an exercise. Behind me, you can see an epidemiology curve that shows case numbers of students who are infected with an H1N1 virus across the state of Arizona. This information is similar to information that would be provided from the Centers of Disease Control or that would be reported from a state to the Centers of Disease Control during an outbreak. By combining the exercise protocols that are standardized across the nation, we have the ability to do a deeper level analysis and present results on very specific exercises and improve them. Although tabletop exercises are used in public health all the time to identify gaps in emergency plans, uh, testing the effectiveness of these exercises uh, is rarely done. So one of our main objectives at the Decision Theater is to advance evidence-based emergency preparedness. We analyzed survey data that we collected. We used the same survey before the exercise and after the completion of the exercise. This survey measured knowledge and confidence in five main public health um, functional capabilities. And our data suggest that the combination of didactic learning and the tabletop exercise improved participants' knowledge and confidence in these five functional capabilities. School closure during a pandemic is a complex issue, and the simulation model helped public health officials develop and test effective policies for slowing the spread of infection while also minimizing social and economic consequences associated with these policies. We hope that this project will lead to more consistent and beneficial uses of evidence-based public health preparedness research to save lives and prevent injuries in declared public health emergencies.